Are you tired of feeling not being understood in your relationship? In this video we'll cover 5 tips for communicating better in your relationship. Recommendation number 1. Be a good listener. Listening entails more than just hearing what your partner is saying. It entails being fully present, participating fully in the discourse, and making an effort to comprehend your partner's viewpoint. So how can you improve your listening skills? Put away any distractions, like your phone or TV, and focus entirely on your partner. Maintaining eye contact, nodding, or using verbal indicators like, I see, or, aha, will demonstrate your interest. Remember to pay attention without interjecting. And refrain from formulating your response while your companion is still talking. Empathy is a crucial component of being a good listener. When your partner has completed speaking, give a brief recap of what they have said to demonstrate that you have understood them. You can accomplish this by summarizing your partner's remarks, seeking further clarification, or demonstrating empathy. You may improve communication in your relationship and develop a closer bond with your partner by learning to listen better. It takes practice, but with time, you may strengthen your relationship by becoming a better listener. Recommendation number two. Use I statements. In a relationship, speaking in the first person to express your thoughts and feelings is really effective. It enables you to take control of your feelings and communicate them in a way that won't make your spouse defensive. This is because addressing your partner directly might sound accusatory or blaming. Whereas speaking in the first person lets you take ownership of your emotions. This also helps your partner to be more sympathetic toward you, which is a bonus. You may make it safe for your spouse to listen to you and comprehend your point of view by expressing your sentiments in a straightforward and non-threatening manner. You can prevent misunderstandings and disputes by speaking in the first person. Your partner may feel attacked or chastised when you address them directly, which might cause defensiveness or an argument. Remember that a strong and fulfilling relationship is built on open communication. Recommendation number three. Avoid negative body language. In a conversation, nonverbal indicators like your posture, tone of voice, and facial expressions can be just as crucial as what you say. Negative body language, such as crossing your arms, or avoiding eye contact, might make your partner feel defensive or unheard. It's critical to be conscious of your body language, and utilize reassuring cues to demonstrate that you are interested in what is being said. Maintaining eye contact, facing your partner, nodding, or utilizing other nonverbal indicators, to demonstrate that you are listening are all examples of positive body language. These indicators can help your partner feel heard and validated. Along with using positive body language, it's crucial to refrain from using unfavorable gestures like sighing or rolling your eyes. These cues may be interpreted as dismissive, and they may put distance between you and your partner. Your body language can influence the discourse just as much as your words. You may enhance your communication skills and forge deeper connections with your spouse by being aware of your body language and employing encouraging hints. Recommendation number four, take breaks. It might be challenging to speak clearly when emotions are running high. In circumstances like this, it's crucial to take a break and resume talking when you're both more composed. By taking breaks, you may stop conflicts from getting out of hand. And in the long run, communicate more effectively. Taking a break doesn't imply that you're dodging questions or fleeing the issue. Instead, it's a method to collect oneself, calm down, and address the matter more rationally. This can help you express your ideas and emotions more clearly, and prevent you from saying anything you'll later regret. Try taking a break when you start to feel upset or angry. Tell your spouse that you need some time to collect yourself, and that you will resume talking once you both feel more at ease. This can keep things from getting heated and make it simpler to come up with a solution. Do something to unwind and clear your mind during your break. This can entail going on a stroll, learning to breathe deeply, or engaging in some physical activity. Recommendation number five, practice empathy. 
The capacity for empathy is the capacity to comprehend and experience another person's feelings. It's an essential component of relationship communication that works well. Start by giving your partner your whole attention in order to learn empathy. Pay attention to your partner's words, voice tone, and body language. Attempt to comprehend what your partner are saying and the potential reasons behind his feelings. This can help you put yourself in his shoes and respond with more empathy. Validating your partner's emotions is another approach to demonstrate empathy. Even if you disagree with his viewpoint, it's important to indicate that you understand and acknowledge your partner's feelings. Finally, it's critical to demonstrate empathy through your behaviors. This is being there for your partner when he needs it. Lending a sympathetic ear when he needs to vent. And being prepared to make concessions when necessary. These behaviors can support the development of trust and deepen your relationship with your partner. Keep in mind that developing empathy requires time and effort. It demands you to put your own viewpoint aside and consider the matter from your partner's perspective. These were the five tips for communicating better in your relationship. In summary, communication is key to a healthy and happy relationship. Be sure to check out the description below for additional relationship advice. Check out this collection of the top 10 videos on relationship advice for women, and we'll see you in the next video. With love.